Okay, so there's a lot of confusion out there on, you know, the level of fanship, so to speak. But I'm going to break that down uh, all the way from a free patron up to a super fan in this episode of the Music Money Makeover Show. So, find out next, coming up on the Music Money Makeover Show. What is going on, everybody? My name is Casey Graham. Welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. As you can see, my beard is a little scruffy because I've been doing a lot of hard work behind the scenes. The Music Money Makeover Company is growing and it's scaling into what I envisioned it to be as a full-fledged publishing administration registration company. All right, so I am glad to start serving a lot of you all as we bring on more and more clients all right, I want to be as transparent as I can with the company. And if you want to know some of the things that I do within the company, you can download the free profit maximization checklist below and the uh, Musician's Guide to Self Publishing number one, the startup down below. Anyway, let's jump into the show today. All right, so today's show is about uh, the different tiers of fans, okay? Um, and I think that a lot of people get kind of like Instagram followers, YouTube subscribers, all these people confused as them being actual fans of what it is you do. And that's not really the case per se. So these people that watch you for free, let me give you, I'm gonna give you a list of, of what it is they do. Read off my handy dandy phone right here. So I like to call this first tier of people free, free patrons. So I like to, uh, <coughs> so I like to call this first tier of people free patrons, right? I mean, they're, they come and they give you, it's not technically free, but they give you the most minuscule amount of money in exchange for what they wanna get from you. So these people go like this, right? They watch you online and they like your posts. I mean, these are people who don't even comment, all right? But then you have a little bit more higher in that tier of group of people who engage and comment with your posts, right? They stream your music for free and they stream your music from a paid account. All right, these are the free patrons that I like, oh, I call them free, because they stream stuff and they just give you the most basic amount of money. That's tier one right there. And they aren't to be, you, you don't wanna throw them off, right? You wanna make sure that you keep your lower level material coming, like your music and content online, things that they respond with. Because eventually, if you keep making that content for these people, then they will buy something of yours eventually, or they will recommend you to someone else. All right, so the payment that they give you is like the amount of money for one stream or a couple. They will rec give you recommendations and then they will also help you boost your engagement on your social media accounts, all right? So you need all of that. You need all of that happening before you can get someone to buy something of yours outright. And we all want people to buy stuff from us but you have to understand that you gotta crawl before you walk and you need all these free patrons and these word of mouth people and these awareness raisers and engagers to get you to the next level. Now, this next level right here is level two, all right? And I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I like to call them. And these people right here, I like to call this the 1X, 2X stage, okay? Put that right down there, 1X or 2X. This is the 1X, 2X buyer stage. That means these people are buying a concert ticket, right? Anywhere from 20 bucks to 40 bucks, okay? They will be buying a tour concert ticket. Like if it's your personal tour, they'll buy that. If it's a festival tour, they'll buy that because it's cheaper, right? Um, and then also they may buy some small priced merch maybe some small clothing item or like a sticker packet, a pin, a button, something small, right? We're not, they're not in, into the shirt and the hat and the jackets and all that stuff yet, all right? These people are buying the small stuff, lighters, wristbands, all of that, all right? And then they will probably more so buy a standard price musical product. Now, that's what these people do. The 1X, 2X stage. And the concert ticket will be bought somewhere around you know, once a year, or they might only buy, they might they might only be a fan of yours for when you first come out and they'll buy that one concert ticket and you have that one time to show them what you're made of, all right? And then after that, they probably won't buy another ticket from you. They may not buy another piece of merch from you. It'll be over and then they will listen. They'll go back to the free patron stage. But now, that super fan stage, that continuous 
buyer, the continuous engager, commenter, liker, watcher, all of that. That's that customer that you want, all right? And that customer converts most of the time at a 10 to one conversion, meaning for every 10 people in, one person continuously buys, all right? Now, be sure to download the Profit Maximization Checklist down below and the Musician's Guide to Self-Publishing number one down below in the description, all right? That's gonna show you how to set up your music publishing company and get everything kind of, uh, you know, going for yourself, all right? I put a lot of common sense into this book because I don't like all the fluff that all, all the other people are out here doing, telling you just sign up for a PRO account here or there, and you're good. You got a lot more to do if you wanna be a publisher or a fully self-published artist. Believe me and trust me, and that's why people are continuously buying this book. All right, so you can get that down there, and then don't, if you don't wanna buy, get the free one. All right, the free one got, has tips and tricks in there. So learn some stuff in the free book, get that down below in the description. Now, to these super fans right here, let me tell you what these super fans do. And this is a little bit, super fans can go all over the place with you. But here's a couple things I got. This is the 3X, the multiple of three buyer stage right here. All right, they're gonna buy a standard price clothing, merch, product, anywhere from 20 bucks on up to 100, 150, 000, whatever you got. As long as it's quality, they're gonna get it. Okay, and that's cool. Um, they're gonna buy the concert VIP package. And even if they can't do the VIP package, this person will maybe buy a ticket, say where I am in Atlanta, and then they will go down to the next major city, which will be Jacksonville, Florida, and follow, follow you down there. They tour with you. All right, these are super fans. They will follow you on tour. It's amazing when you see it. And you say, hey, weren't, didn't I just see you two nights ago in Atlanta? And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, it's cool. And then, and then they become your touring family, okay? They become, sometimes in these groups of people, because they're such fanatics of yours, you may actually find help that you need within your circle. And you say, hey, look, we need help doing such and such. Would you like to help us out? You know, probably the third time you see them on tour, get all their contact information and give them a number that they can personally contact you at or something like that where you can be in close connection with them, email and all that. And you want to make sure that you talk to these people because they can really, really be of some service to you, all right? They could be your new regional street team person in that area, that geographical area. You don't know, but these people love you so much that they will do a lot for you. I'm not gonna say anything, but they'll do a lot for you. Let's look at what else this super fan does. They're gonna buy some, uh, I like to say corporate merchandise. So, so that means that outside of your merch shop online, if you get big enough, they will start to buy things like that you don't make, that you have licensed out, like lunch boxes and you know, all types of stuff that different manufacturers make and they label slap your information on it, all right? They might have, if you wear chains, they might have a replica of your chain, all right? They will buy clothes that you have on that look like, you know, that, that may come, you might do a, you know, you get so big, you have a line in H&M or something in Target or campaign that you're working on, they will buy everything you have, okay? And this is where you wanna get it to. This is the level of fanship, appreciation ship, all right? So I just wanted to bring this quick message to you. Remember, you have the free patrons. You're gonna have a lot more free patrons than you will paid patrons, all right? And then that number is gonna go from a 10, a group of 10 down to one, okay? Well, you're gonna have one person that's gonna make that purchase. And then we're gonna double it up again to 20 and we're gonna drop down to find our, our super fan, which will buy again. I don't like to call a fan a super fan unless they make two purchases over a period of time, not at one time. So if they make one purchase, I wanna see them make another purchase again, all right? And then our free patrons, even if they may buy an album from you, if they come back and they buy again, you know you got a fan, right? Like I'm a fan of Outkast ever since I was young and I bought multiple copies of their albums, whether they broke, they got scratched, whether I just want it in vinyl form or CD or tape form. If I see it, I'm gonna buy it because I'm a fan. 
I'm a fan of Earth, Wind & Fire. I'll go buy limited edition records. I'll go to the record store and find vinyls that I don't have or pressings that I don't have. That's, that's how the fans work, okay? These fans are connoisseurs of music. The free patrons love music. The fans that buy, the connoisseurs of music are the ones that just have to have everything that you have, all right? And you wanna work your way up to that. Remember, you're gonna start with the free patrons first and don't dispose of them. You need a plethora of free patrons, okay, to get you going. And then look for your 1X, 2X buyers and then your 3X and beyond buyers, all right? Anyway, that's been this show. Download the Profit Maximization Checklist below and the Musician's Guide to Self-Publishing number one below. And then don't forget, you can also text me, 470-291-5767, 470 470- 291 57 67 and it will come right here to this phone i love all of the texts that i've been getting so far um uh, please I'll, I'll answer questions you know as you all bring them in i am not your hotline all right it does cost but i will answer questions from time to time that you have that don't necessarily belong on YouTube. And if you want to develop a relationship with me and you can get more insight that I won't actually put here or you want something customary, text me 470-291-5767. Anyway, that's been today's show. I'll see you all next week. Peace.